Hey guys, I wanted to share my hair care routine with you. So I always get tons of questions about this. I only wash my hair once a week and I have super long, thick hair and it stays curly really, really well. So I haven't done anything with my hair all week except put it in a bun. So it's looking a little ratchet and my mom fro is on full point. So <laughs> ignore what it looks like now. I'll show you what I do to make it look a lot nicer but this week I've done nothing to my hair so it is the way it is but I wanted to show you guys a couple products so I know tons of people are always recommending like the super fancy expensive products like whatever honestly I found this is the best shampoo that works for me and honestly it's it's less than ten dollars at Target I don't remember how much it is but it's the Aussie Miracle Moist shampoo and conditioner um my hair got super fried by bleach a few years ago and so moisture is something I'm always looking to add into my hair and because I only wash it once a week it's not like I'm constantly adding moisture to make oil build up my hair will naturally dry out throughout the week and then by the time I add it it's not like getting excessively oily so if you're washing your hair just once a week adding moisture to your hair is going to be key. So I use these two. A trick that I've learned when you wash your hair, you technically need to wash it two to three times, especially if you're going for long periods of time like I do. You're going to want to lather it in, rinse it out, and then do that a total of two to three times. So I'm going to take a shower, wash my hair. I'll come back and show you guys, but once I'm done, I don't condition in the shower. I'm going to towel dry my hair. I'll step out and then I'll show you guys what I do. But I will actually let my conditioner sit in my hair for a good bit. Um, sometimes I will condition my hair before, but we don't have time for that right now. So I'm going to go wash it and then I'll come back and show you guys my conditioning routine. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Um, I didn't leave the towel in for long, so my hair is still pretty damp. Um... I changed up the camera angle, so hopefully you can see me, but you're going to want to apply a lot of conditioner. <laughs> um, I like to start on my ends first. Sorry, I'm watching in the mirror while I do this, so I'm going to be sure I get everywhere. I'll just go a little bit higher up. I'm just trying to work it through. You don't really want it on your scalp because it'll make it really hard to rinse out. Um, but I like to go as close to the tips as possible. So I'm not like rubbing this into my scalp. Your scalp doesn't need conditioning. All right, so I'm gonna do one last one here. Just wanna be sure it feels nice and coated down here, especially. One empty spot right here and then I'm just gonna twist it. And you don't have to do this part I'm more doing it just to keep the hair out of my face and go in with the scrunchie put it up I'm sorry I changed the angle so I don't think you could actually see me doing this put in a scrunchie and then it's super slippery yeah my hands are slippery too this part's hard and then I'm just gonna put in like two claw clips Kind of keep it in place. So not the most attractive, <laughs> but I'm going to let this sit in. I need to go take a hot bath and shave. So I'm going to do that. And then once I'm done with that, I'll rinse it out. Got everything set up. Um, 
a lot of times I prefer to air dry my hair like overnight but if I do that sometimes I don't get to curling it or something like that unless I have an event in the morning so just to be sure it gets done and to save myself some time tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and blow it out and curl it tonight and that way y'all can see it too so one thing that's important um I don't know if you noticed in my video of like rinsing it out, but I brushed it out with a comb with the conditioner in it. When conditioner in it, it makes it really easy to comb your hair out. It's kind of like a lubricant per se for your hair. Um, so I brushed it out then, but you don't want to brush it out when it's wet. Your hair is really, really fragile when it's wet. And so you want to leave it alone as much as possible when it's in a fragile state. So I'm going to blow dry it and then I'll brush it out, curl it, all that good stuff. Um, so then another thing I do personally is I switch which side, I can't talk, switch which side my part is on. Yeah, so that's probably all the brushing I'll do is just to kind of keep that part right there. And I'll still mess up um, my part, but for the most part, it'll stay right here, so. Alright, I'm going to turn the sound off and speed this up, but all I'm going to do is just blow through it just to get it dry and then I'll style it. the middle and then I always do the largest side first so like where this big chunk of hair is over here I do that side first because it takes longer and that way when I'm quote unquote halfway done this side is actually a lot less to do and then I'm gonna section off lots of pieces here um I don't section my hair off every time but usually when I curl it for the first time after a blow dry that's gonna be a good curl. All right. So when I do my first section of curls, like the first day, I'm gonna curl it a little bit more than I would on touch-up days. So like tomorrow when I get ready, I would probably just do this all as one big curl for the sake of now and doing it as my first curl to kind of get them set for the week. I'm gonna break it up into two or three. So that's kind of where this first curl takes a little bit longer. But I'm going to start with this one. I'll probably do about halfway up. Twist it. Let some hair through. And I'm going to let it curl out. Pull it down. Twist. Let it out. Pull it down. I like to leave a little bit out at the end. Just personal preference. So there's that little thing at the bottom. I'll do the next one. So then another reason for wanting to split my hair in half is you want to curl away from your face. So like this half, I'm going to curl that way. This half, I'll curl that way. Start about halfway. Twist up. Put some down. Let it out. And just so you know, I'm not standing up through this. I'm totally sitting down. I brought one of our bar stools in here because being halfway through pregnancy and chasing a baby around all day, no one wants rest when she can. So while I have the opportunity to do this child-free and take my time, I'm gonna take advantage. 
Um, so then when I go through my sections here, I like to go under when I divide them instead of up. It's personal preference. The sectioning, you kind of just get a feel for how you want it. Everybody's going to like there's a different way or have a different technique, but. So I figured while I was doing this, I wanted to do a little second trimester, almost halfway baby update. So I'm almost 19 weeks pregnant. Very exciting with baby D or Daniel. I kind of nicknamed him baby D lately. I kind of like it. Um, I don't know if he'll stay, but at least while he's in there, I'm calling him baby D. So we did an anatomy scan last week, almost last week, about a week ago. Um, everything went really good. We confirmed for sure he's a boy. <laughs> we did the blood test to figure out the gender. Um, but you know, until you actually see it on the screen, it's kind of hard to tell. There's still like that what if factor. So anyway, we did that. All went well. We still haven't really found like a practice that we like. So, you know, we're kind of halfway through. We need to speed up and figure out where we're going. Um, but yeah, I wasn't very impressed with the last place we went. So I think we're going to switch. All right, so on Instagram, I asked you guys to give me updates. And if you're not following me on Instagram, that's where I kind of connect with people the most um, through there, through stories, through my posts, through DMs. So on there, I asked questions about what you guys wanted to know about Baby D. Um, so I'll kind of run through some of those while I'm curling my hair for you. I got a little wonky, but he's like stuck out. Little girl, so believe it. All right. So one of the questions was, were you surprised? Were we trying? Yes. So like we were nursing mostly full time. Mikey at that point was like five or six months, and so he was eating, starting to like eat more solids, and starting to replace some of his nursing sessions with like food um so we were trying yes but um you know we weren't like we have to get pregnant tomorrow type thing it was more of just you know whenever my body's ready it'll happen so we we're actually trying to switch insurances so that we didn't have to deal with this whole doctor problem thing that we were that we're encountering this time I wanted to switch doctors and the doctor I wanted to go to, well, I really wanted a home birth, um, you know, but obviously that's not covered under traditional insurance. Um, so we were going to switch to an insurance that would, you know, help us out a little bit. We'd probably still pay most of it out of pocket. Um, we're literally about to switch. So you can't be on that insurance while you're pregnant. That's why we weren't on it. Last time, because when we got insurance as we were married, I was already pregnant. Um, so we're like, okay, we're switching for next baby. So that way we can be on that insurance. We can get into home birth, all that stuff. Um, So it was literally like a couple of days away from the end of whatever month. I really don't even remember. <laughs> um, I can go back and look and see, but we were literally about to switch. Like it was like the 20th or 25th or something. And I just had a gut feeling. I'm like, I cannot go into this insurance and then find out like right after we switch that I'm pregnant and then crap, we have like zero coverage because you know, they're not going to cover an existing pregnancy. 
And then, you know, we wouldn't have any like legal reason to switch to a traditional insurance. So before we got like put ourselves in a bad spot, I just grabbed a test. Um, I had actually gone out to grab something. Alex was at home with Mikey and I didn't tell him I was doing it. And so I just grabbed a test at like CVS and I felt weird taking it there. I was like, it's kind of weird. You buy it and then you go to the bathroom and take it. I don't know. I felt weird about that, but I'd already told Alec I was on the way home. So I also needed like an excuse to be out a few extra minutes and I was not going to try and take it at home and get caught. <laughs> Because I did not need Alec peeking around the corner seeing me take a pregnancy test and then like, oh, what if it was negative or what if it was positive? Just not how I wanted to find out. Um, so I really thought it was going to be negative. I've honestly taken a pre other pregnancy tests since having Mikey um, that have been negative. So, I was genuinely expecting it to be negative. Can you not? The collar is so loud. Sorry, that's Obi scratching his collar. Um, so, like, I was genuinely expecting it to be negative. Um, so, I went into Harris Teeter, I took it in the bathroom, and then I just threw it in my wallet. Like, I wasn't going to wait in the bathroom for the results. I was like, oh, it'd be cute, you know, if it is positive to have, like, you know, a reaction video because I didn't have that with my first and so my dude so I grabbed like a dessert because that's what I went to go get we had friends coming over that night so I was telling Alec that I was getting a dessert so I did actually grab a dessert <laughs> um and then I got in the car and I almost didn't video it because there was tons of people outside. I don't know what they were all doing at Harris Teeter at nine o'clock at night, but everybody was there. So, dude, stop scratching your collar. Um, so I almost did a video because I was like, this is gonna look so stupid. I'm gonna like put my phone up on my dash and like, video myself looking at a test that's going to be negative like that's how certain I was that it was negative and so I got in the car and I pulled my wallet out I was like you know what just put the dang phone up like whatever nobody's gonna judge you nobody cares enough and if they do whatever so I just put it up and recorded it and I pulled the test out um and like to my actual shock, it was positive. So like, was I surprised that I was pregnant? Genuinely, very much yes. <laughs> I did not believe it. Um, so yeah. So then I immediately texted my friend and my aunt. I was like, uh, I just sent them a picture of it. I was like, I'm literally shaking. So then at that point, like I could not control my heart rate. I was shaking like, breathing crazy so at that point I was like well shoot like how do I tell Alec because if I had taken it during the day I would have like all day to kind of prepare for when he got home as a surprise but like I'm the one coming home so like there's no preparation so either I was gonna wait and tell him or you know I was gonna tell him when I got home so I had gotten um a dog crate while I was out and so I left it in the car so he could go get it for me and I shoved the pregnancy test back in my thing I took the so it came in a pack of two I took the other one that I hadn't taken and I didn't want him to see it in my car but I also didn't have my purse like literally all I had was my card and my keys so like I had no way to smuggle it in without him knowing so I shoved the test that I had taken back in my wallet and then I took the box and like the bag from like where I went to CVS. <laughs> I shoved it in like the part of my trunk. There's like a secret highway space back there. I was like, okay, he won't see it back here. <laughs> so I shoved it in there. 
And uh, I got home, like said hello, whatever. And I was like, the crate's in the car, do you mind grabbing it? And so he went out and got it. Mikey was asleep, so I was like, okay, really, really quick. So I threw the test on top of the dessert in the grocery bag and just left it there in the grocery bag. And then he came in, he put the crate down, whatever. I set up my phone um, in the kitchen recording, but like somewhere he couldn't see it either because I didn't want to wear him out or make him feel pressured to have like a certain reaction or whatever. Um, and so I was like, hey, come check out what I got at the store. And normally when I say something like that, like he's not really paying attention. So I like tried to be as interesting as possible. Like I got something super cool he was going to want to see. <laughs> and I just pulled the test out of the bag. And at first he didn't believe me. He's like, that's not like thinking it was like one of Mikey's or something. Because at one point I still had Mikey's old pregnancy test. And so he didn't believe me. And then as soon as he was like made two and two connect. I'll never show anybody the reaction video because his reaction was pretty much the same as my second thought of like, shoot, what is this going to do with insurance? Because now we can't go to like the midwife or doctor that we wanted, whatever. So anyway, so it's not one of those like the viral worthy reactions of like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, whatever. <laughs> like we knew it was going to happen. So like we were both excited, but at the same time, it was almost like, Dang, we couldn't have waited like a week or two more. Um, so the other thing was that we had no idea how far along I was, like zero idea. So we didn't want to tell anybody. Um, other than like we told, you know, two or three people. Um, and so I had no idea how far along we were. And so we were just going to wait and just wait as long as we possibly could and then it was almost easter like the week before easter and like everybody was coming in town and all this and so we we're kind of like you know what we should probably tell them so we went to like a 3d ultrasound place and did like one of the early ultrasound things where you can figure out how far along you are because it's like before 12 weeks when they do the ultrasound, your due date is very, very accurate. So at this point, like, you know, I'm only six months postpartum with Mikey, so I haven't really had, like, a period to say, like, this was my last period to figure it out. Like, you know, my last period was when I was pregnant with Mikey. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we went there, and... Sure enough, we were nine weeks along at that point. So, you know, I had already been through like a month and a half, almost two months, or I guess it was two months pregnant at that point when we found out. So that was probably the biggest shock was how far along I already was by the time we figured out. So we did that. And then because we were already nine weeks along, as long as you're like seven weeks, I think, you can take the like early gender blood test so we literally had three days between the night that I took the ultrasound and Easter Sunday so I convinced Alec we ordered the um, sneak peek gender like blood test and the one that they do within like 48 to 72 hours so like they expedite ship it to you you take it they expedite ship it back they give you results same day so we did it and we found out I've been waiting for the results like all day long, like all day I was sitting like refreshing my email, refreshing my email and the results didn't come in until like 11 or 12 at night. <laughs> so that was kind of like crazy to wait that long, but because they did process it same day, they did say it would probably be like after five before you get your results. Um, so we opened it, it said it was a boy and then we did like a, and then literally, um, so right after we found out we were pregnant, we had our anniversary. And so my parents actually like watched Mikey for the weekend so we could have like a weekend, just the two of us. We just did a staycation at home 
And so we went and saw a movie and had dinner. And so like after we dropped Mikey off, while we were sitting at dinner, we started coming up with names. Um, and I told Alec we were only allowed to come up with a boy name. So we came up with a boy name. And then right before the gender test came in, I just, I knew it was gonna be a girl. Like we knew it was a boy and without a shadow of a doubt, I knew it was a boy, but like right before the test came, I was like, it's a girl. And this is what we're gonna name her. Like it just came to me, I was like, this is it. So yeah, but then it was a boy. So if we ever have a girl at some point, we have a name, but that is to remain a secret until then. Um, so another one of the questions, and I'm like already almost done with my hair, so, um, another one of the questions was like, what are some of my pregnancy symptoms? And then, um, how is this pregnancy any different than Mikey's? So I'll be really fast and try and wrap it up because I know I've just been talking and talking. Um, with Mikey, so we actually had the stomach bug around like the first two or three weeks of pregnancy. Um, so honestly, any symptoms, I honestly attributed to us having the stomach bug. I was never nauseous with Mikey unless I just didn't eat enough. Um, and so like my appetite was all weird and stuff anyway, um, those first couple weeks because of having the stomach bug. So I can't really say if you know, I was nauseous or had weird eating habits because we had a stomach bug. Um, honestly, there was a lot of days, like the first couple of weeks after I found out, like it made sense as to why I was so tired and it was taking me so long to recover from the stomach bug because I was just so tired all the time. Like I could not get my energy back. I couldn't get my appetite right. Um, but kind of by the time we told everybody around like that nine, 10 week mark, I was fine and honestly haven't really had many symptoms. Um, that first little bit, like I took naps. I took a nap pretty much every day when Mikey did. Um, but that was about it. Um, I haven't had any really like crazy cravings or aversions or anything. Honestly, I feel like I told Alec I feel bad. Like I don't even feel pregnant at times um other than like being out of breath so if I'm like doing a bunch or sitting here talking like I'm having a hard time catching my breath or whatever but I don't know I haven't really had a lot of symptoms this pregnancy and also feel bad saying that too because I know there's so many women out there who struggle with you know really tough first trimesters or really tough pregnancies um I will say with Mikey's pregnant when I was pregnant with Mikey that last like month or so of pregnancy for me was awful like I had awful insomnia terrible back pain so I'm kind of thinking that based off of these two pregnancies the way they're going that while I've had an easier first trimester I'm kind of gearing up for possibly another hard third trimester like I've already noticed having some insomnia and stuff and I think that may be slightly related to caffeine i'm trying to not have any caffeine after lunch now because i've noticed on days that i do have caffeine it's just it totally affects my body in a different way right now um so just trying to navigate that to kind of help get as much sleep as possible because <laughs> not only am i pregnant but you know chasing around my key as well so yeah that's kind of how those two have paired up um, but yeah, so we're almost halfway and just enjoying it, trying to take it slow. I feel like it's literally flying by so fast and I don't know if that's just because we found out so late or if, you know, just having another baby and, you know, our pace of life right now is really, really fast. If just everything that's going on, it's just flying by. So trying to enjoy every moment and take it as we go. Um, but I am done with my hair. So as you can see, like some of the curls are kind of all curling together. Um, I'll give it a minute to cool down and then I'll just run my fingers through it and that'll give it the nice, like wavy 
look that I typically have. Um, so I don't usually leave it this curled. Um, so this is what it looks like right after I'm done curling. And then kind of like for volume and all that, I'll just flip it upside down. Um, I typically run my hands under this section a little bit more, so it's a little bit straighter to kind of give you that illusion of length that I was talking about. Um, and then I try not to do it too much around my face, so that way those pieces stay a little bit more curly. So kind of how all the curls were sticking together earlier, they kind of have that nice wave to them. And then when you curl them higher up, the curls sit a little bit higher and give you more volume. So. That's kind of my finished look. Um, excuse me. I do go in with this hair oil. It's really just like jojoba oil and coconut oil. I think that's how you say it, jojoba or jojoba. I don't know. The oil <laughs> sounds like that. And I just run it through my ends. Like I said, I had a really bad bleach experience. And so some of my ends still kind of have, like from here down, probably still have a little bit of that damage. Um, so just kind of keep them looking fresh and a little around my face. But yeah, I don't really do anything to my scalp throughout the week that um, I don't wash. It's so, like I'll just wash it again next weekend. Um, I don't really do anything to my scalp. If for whatever reason I need to go over a week or we have like a big, event to go to and like I need my hair to look clean but I don't have the time I may throw in some like dry shampoo um but with my hair specifically if I use that like every day if I don't wash the next day my hair looks just really really gross after using dry shampoo um just no it's not for everybody um I've more just kind of trained my hair to stay clean until I need to wash it again so yeah, that's my hair routine. Nothing super crazy, but yeah. Thanks for joining. Please do subscribe to my channel, see more videos. Link down below, comment some new video ideas, things that you wanna see, questions that you have. I'll definitely get back to you and be sure to follow me on Instagram. I do, like I said, I do a lot more engagement on there and kind of talking with you guys and sharing my everyday life, but Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.